One question students have often asked is why on a lot of machines there's often a big heavy wheel spinning around seemingly using up energy and not doing anything. Well energy is a key word. There are really two types of energy. One is potential energy. That's energy being waiting to be used like money in the bank, like in a stretch elastic band. Then there's kinetic energy, moving energy, when you spend the money. Kinetic energy. Now in the machine the, uh, with the flywheel, what's going to happen in a simple engine is the gasoline would come in here, explode, push the piston down like that, which moves the crankshaft and turns the flywheel. Kinetic energy of the piston going down. But when the flywheel turns, it's storing a bit of that energy, potential energy. So when it comes around to this side, it's now going to use its stored energy to move the piston back up, like that. So the flywheel is storing energy, potential energy, then releasing it to bring the piston up, kinetic energy. So all the time the flywheel is smoothing it out, making things work nicely. If you don't have a flywheel like this one, it just doesn't work. Even if you set this thing just right to work, push it down, there's nothing to bring it back up again. So the flywheel is storing energy. Potential energy when it's stored, kinetic energy when it's being released. And that's happening all the time in the flywheel. It's smoothing the drive out. Without a flywheel, you'd get tremendous vibration and your machine would tear itself apart.